Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Adam Mora, and today we're going to be discussing users and permissions. Did you know that the NRS point of sale allows you to edit permissions for your employees, giving you access to determine what your employees can and cannot do throughout your point of sale? Once your employees are set up with permissions, this will bring security and simplicity to your point of sale. You'll no longer have to worry about your employees clicking through settings and features they don't need access to. Okay, so now that we understand what users and permissions will bring to the point of sale, let's navigate to the users tile to show you how easy it is to set them up. Once you have navigated to the users tile, this will bring you into user management. In here, you will see a list of all your employees that you have already entered into the point of sale. To add a new user, simply click add user on the top right. Once you are in Add User, you will see three fields at the top of the screen, Name, PIN, and Boss Account. Name is going to be the name of the employee that you're entering into the system, and PIN is going to be the PIN that they're going to use to log into the system. Boss Account is for single sign-on when utilizing the Boss Revolution solution. Next, we have Permission Presets. Permission Presets are going to be the type of employees that we can add into the point of sale. Manager and cashier will be users of the point of sale, while time clock only will be users of the time clock only. When you select time clock only, you'll notice that all the permissions for a time clock only user are grayed out. This means they have no access throughout the point of sale and can only utilize the point of sale for clocking in and clocking out purposes only. When setting up a manager or cashier, you'll notice that each of these settings have default settings. When you click on Manager, we'll hit Yes to this prompt. This will reset all the permission settings to Manager Defaults, so we're going to hit Yes. And as you can see, it sets all the default settings for a manager, meaning they have full access throughout the point of sale. Now let's say that this manager needs to be restricted on some features. Very easily, you can navigate to the feature that you want to restrict and either restrict the entire feature altogether or an individual feature of that feature. So simply click on Price Book. And again, this will block the price book from the manager that you're currently adding into the system. If you decide you want to give them a specific permission, then very easily you can give them the ability to add items, but maybe not edit those items. And you can put a check mark in this box here. And once your settings have been set, you can hit OK at the bottom, and this will save your employee into the point of sale. And there he is. I hope you all enjoyed today's session. As always, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day.